serving Aurora and Oak Ridges. Dear ACI Community Television. Hi, I'm Dan Chicone, your host for Plugged In, and welcome to 2008. It's good to be back, and I hope you had a happy and safe holiday. Now, since it's a new year, I thought that the theme for this week's show should be everything new. So first up, we're here at the Matrix Repatterning Center in Aurora. They offer a revolutionary new way to heal pain, which is natural and non-invasive. With me is Dr. George Roth. He's the director of the Matrix Repatterning Center here at 33 Victoria Street in Aurora. And this is leading edge cellular wellness. Exactly. Yes. yes. So why don't you tell us about what uh, this is exactly? Sure. Well, uh, my background is uh, trained as a chiropractor and a naturopathic doctor. Okay. And we have a number of practitioners here, including chiropractors, massage therapists, other naturopaths, and we are also training a number of other practitioners who are joining us, including we have a physical trainer and we have yoga classes, etc. But the basis of our treatment is something called matrix repatterning, which is a program that I created after 30 years of treatment uh, experience, uh, studying different techniques. Uh, essentially, most people come here because they've had issues with injuries and pain but uh, we're recognizing that many other conditions are affected by structural conditions, injuries primarily. And uh, so we treat a number of uh, situations, things like back pain, neck pain, headaches, shoulder pain, knee pain, all the traditional orthopedic problems. Uh, the difference is we do things uh, a bit differently in that our treatments are extremely gentle and they're also focused on what we call core issues of injury and what we find is is that many injuries uh, especially impact the injuries like falls and car accidents uh, what happens is the injury itself is absorbed deep into the body and affects structures that most people don't recognize as the source of their problem okay and in addition to pain issues we're we're also able to solve many other kinds of structural problems which include problems with snoring and apnea, uh, people with pelvic disorders that include uh, incontinence in women, erectile dysfunction in men, uh, reflux problems, uh, these are all structural problems that have been identified. And in addition, we treat sports injuries and have actually trained a veterinary team at, uh, that works out of Woodbine, works on racehorses, and I've worked on a number of horses myself. And, that's and dogs amazing. and things like that. So we That's have amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, how, how does it work exactly? Okay. All right. Well, let me explain that. Uh, basically, what ha is, has been discovered is, uh, uh, I guess about 15 or 16 years ago, I had been looking at different techniques, uh, but not really understanding why some techniques worked and some didn't. Right. And I was lucky enough to, um, uh, I'd be, I was teaching at a physical medicine conference at York University, and uh, one of my students who's a physiotherapist in Toronto mentioned that there was an orthopedic surgeon also speaking and I should listen to his talk. And I was glad I did because uh, his name is, is Dr. Stephen Levin and he's still very much alive and is part of our advisory team now. Uh, he was lecturing on this new theory about the cell that really intrigued me and seemed to explain many of the things that I was finding and uh, so we got together and uh, basically developed this technique based on the science that is now very well established. As a matter of fact, cellular researchers at Harvard have confirmed that this is the way the body is actually put together. Wow. So if you look inside a cell, what you see is not just a ball of fluid, you actually have this geodesic framework represented by this toy. Okay. And you see this thousands of times, like in each cell, this is multiplied by thousands of times. So right. this represents how the inside of the cell is actually put together. Okay. And it's like a geodesic framework, which is very strong, very resilient, very flexible. And it can absorb energy and force and impact and so on up to a point. But if the injury is more significant, where we fall, have a major impact, fall on a part of our body like a bone, or fall from some distance, or are in a car accident, or a skiing injury, and so on, the energy absorbed can be more than what the cells can dissipate, and the energy is absorbed into the cell. Okay. And when that happens, this structure actually absorbs the energy and converts it to 
electrical charge and it becomes rigid and expands. And this is why I think I showed you earlier, one of your knees is a little bigger than the other. Yeah. That's pretty common. And most people don't even consider that maybe there's something wrong with that structure, but it actually causes the cells to expand. And so what I found is a way to detect those injuries because those injuries create what are called restrictions, mm -hmm. okay? But because the body is interconnected, uh, if that restriction, for example, if I pull my sweater like this, one restriction can lead to other joints not working properly. And so I might say, well, I've got some pain in my neck and shoulder, but in fact it ha happened maybe months or years ago where I injured myself somewhere else, like in my hip or something, and that caused my whole structure to be distorted. And then I noticed something that is occasionally straining, and that's where the brain gets in and says, whoa, there's some problem here. Whereas the original injury is constant irritation, and so the brain gets used to it, okay? Yeah. So detecting the source of the problem is the key to our treatments. And funny enough, my left knee, which is more sensitive, um, is actually the one that doesn't have the problem. It's the right knee, which right. you Right, and your left knee is reacting to right. the other knee, but also other injuries, which we'll, t we'll have a look at later. One other very important piece, though, is that most people don't realize that when you have an impact injury, the energy is absorbed into the denser parts of your body. So I often ask this question, what do you think is the most dense material in your body? Okay. So most people think bone. Bone yeah. is very dense, but right. there's something even more dense inside your body. What? And it's water. Oh. Okay. And you're mostly made of water. And where water is contained right. in your body primarily is in the internal organs. Right. So this little model represents what happens to the inside of your body when you have an impact injury. The organ is made of the same geodesic material, but because it contains water, when you have an impact, you ever seen a water balloon hit the pavement? Yeah. Boom. Yeah. The water inside can only do one thing with that because it's so dense. It explodes yeah. and the energy is transferred to the organ which is really important because these internal injuries change the way the organs work, but it also changes the mechanics of your rib cage and your shoulders, all your neck, many neck and back problems are caused by these internal injuries. But what we discovered over the years is that many other structural problems or structural injuries cause other problems, like for example, heart problems. And one of the things that we discovered uh, a few years ago is that we were normalizing certain aspects of heart function, like heart murmurs were going away and arrhythmias. And uh, I happened to have a, a person who was interested in our work who came to visit one day and he turned out to be a researcher from Harvard and he confirmed that we are actually correcting heart problems. We're now in the midst of a study with Harvard to uh, test for this because uh, they recognize that we're actually changing not just heart function but many other internal organ uh, functions and bone issues and so on. And so this is an important study because obviously heart problems, which we think are often linked to injury, could be alleviated and we seem to be doing that. Um, so the other, the other part of the internal injuries that, uh, and other injuries also affecting not just pain, but as I mentioned, things like mechanical changes in the airway, which affects snoring and apnea, yeah. uh, pelvic injuries. A lot of people fall on their tailbone and their hips and they wind up having other problems like bladder issues. Women have bladder problems. Men have erectile problems. Yeah. And we've, we've seemed to be able to correct many of these things. That's and amazing. Esophageal reflux is another one that's common and very easy to treat in most cases. So, so if they're easy to treat, how many treatments would one need? It really depends on your history and your general health. Uh, it typically, if someone's quite healthy, young, uh, like someone in your age category maybe, but you've had a lot of sports injuries, yeah. It might take four or five sessions, but in some cases, young children, we might see only for two or three sessions. Uh, it, it really depends on the individual case. So that usually, we can give people a good idea at the first session uh, where we uh, assess the individual and determine what's required for treatment. But the, the good news is once the problem is corrected, it will not come back. Once, That's fantastic. unless That's of course they re-injure, which does happen. People are active and doing, they all want to do all kinds of fun things and yeah. play sports and hey, I, I love that myself, so I understand that. Yeah, that's yeah. right, mm. why not? Yeah. Now, do, is the pain gone right away? No, pain is something that's very subjective. So okay. 
the, body, the brain is constantly interpreting things in a relative way. So what happens is when you have pain, your brain is perceiving things at a certain level. You can correct certain problems, and people often notice even after one or two treatments, they feel better. Right. Right? And so that pain threshold, your brain is recognized, that's changing. Okay. All right? But then the brain starts to, because it's got a new threshold, it'll start to perceive other things, and it interprets it the same way. It says, well, there's some pain. But what they notice is, if, if they really stop and think, is the pain is often less severe, less frequent. They can do more before the pain comes on. But there are still other issues. And so as we treat, we go through these layers of removing all of these old injuries and eventually uh, improve the body so that it really is much more resilient and capable of doing things the way things were before. That sounds and this is, just amazing. Yeah. Now, how much, how much are treatments? I'm sure people are just um, dying to know how much. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, <laughs> the initial assessment uh, is, uh, is basically $160. And is it covered by most, most health plans and under massage therapy or chiropractic or naturopathic medicine? And uh, there are a number, we have five therapists currently. We're training a number of more this spring. So uh, we should have a lot of people to be able to handle uh, That's the, amazing. The people calling in. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, if I'm sure the viewers are definitely interested and you want to get rid of that pain, you're going to want to contact uh, the Matrix Repatterning Center here at 33 Victoria Street once again. And the number, Dr. Roth, is what? Is 905-726-8770. That's fantastic. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I'm sure I'll be hearing more about you and your fantastic studies and, and work in the near future. Thank you so much. My pleasure.